Hello everyone, I am the Kremlin Archer, and welcome to Project Zomboid. We're gonna try out a mod. We're gonna try out a Hydrocraft. Um, they added the new uh, workshop integration into uh, into Project Zomboid recently, and so I thought I'd give it a shot. We're gonna do a Hydrocraft, because it's one of the biggest mods that exists there right now. Um, I think that's, uh, alright, it's checked now. All right. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's open up a solo game here. And we will dig right in. We're just going to do a standard survival game. I don't want to mess with uh, sandbox features. Do a new playthrough because after we died from the last one, which is very sad. Stupid stra stupid scratches. We're going to start in West Point. Um, we did a woman last time. So let's randomize. There we go, grizzly dude. Dennis Wilson. Nope. See Archer Wilson. All right, next. All right, so Hydrocraft does not appear to add anything in here. We're going to do our standard um, re-roll situation. My my rules, if you haven't seen this before, is I do I re-roll up to three times. If I get to the and I can pass, if I roll go the third time, I have to stick with it. So let's give it a shot. First up, we are fitness and structure. Who is thick skinned, a gardener, clumsy, agoraphobe, and deaf. I hate deaf. Deaf is no good. Alright, next is a construction worker who is also deaf. A athletic, handy, inconspicuous, first aider, prone. Yeah, this person sucks. Alright, we're gonna get stuck to this next one. Also deaf, you gave me deaf again. All right. Again, I know we're stuck with this, but I want to go on the record and say that getting deaf three times in a row was lame. So now we're not going to have a lot of our sound effects. All right. Well, let's play it. I also know very little about Hydrocraft. I know that it adds a lot more crafting options, but that's about all I know about it. Um, this was sort of a spur of the moment play. I wasn't expecting to die in the last episode, so I didn't really have a plan for what I was going to do next, but we'll give it a shot. See what see see what's up. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Come on. I know this is how I die. I want to get in there. All right. All right, here we are. Oh, somebody outside, I see. What do we got? Box of minstrel pads. There's a new one. Tooth cleaner. That's also a new one. Not going to take any of these right now. Unbox minstrel pads. 20. Alright. I feel like that's got to be useful for something. Hammer. Alright. You're my weapon for right now. Man, not having... Not having... Medium Tupperware. It's got food in it. Interesting. Not having a the ability to hear anything is going to drive me crazy and probably lead to our untimely death. Just so you guys are re prepared for that. Canned corn. Ramen. Parmesan cheese. Canned peaches. Hot sauce. A lot of this stuff is new stuff, obviously, from... Uh, from the Hydrocraft mod. Already starting to run out of space. <laughs> Frying pan, I will take that. Chocolate I'll take, because chocolate's always good to have. We'll leave the rest. Right, let's go check the bedroom. Get lucky and find a real bag of some variety. Pulley, huh. This house kind of blows. Garbage bag I will take. Alright, we got two zombies over here. Gonna have to be really careful not to get jumped. See? No sound effects. 
deaf man. All right. Just fall over, please. I'm really worried about getting jumped from behind without any sound effects. So I feel like maybe it doesn't make for the best, uh, best viewing. You have to let me know. Although, chances are, this is a decent chance we're just going to die before it becomes much of an issue anyways. Really? Over encumbered just from that, huh? That's all the minstrel pads. Oh, we can use those for healing? Whatever. I'll just take a few. Alright, I don't really know what the deal is with those. I should probably do some reading on the Hydrocraft mod. I'll do that between episodes. Alright, I get in here. Panties! School bag, excellent. I'm quite happy with that. Let's uh, select everything that we have here. I didn't even notice this pick up a steak. Put it in there. Fast forward a little bit while that's happening. Wire hanger. Zombie banging on the windows outside. Can opener is an essential. Pizza stone. Whiskey bottle, yes please. I'm probably leaving behind useful stuff, but like I said, I don't really know what's all that useful so far in Hydrocraft. So, another whiskey bottle. Great. Geometry textbook. Really? Stress reduction from geometry textbook? That seems unlikely. Anybody in here? Nope. Measuring tape, stack of cardboard boxes. Alright, I'll take all that. The cardboard boxes have got to be useful for something, right? She broke the window, okay. Alright, alright. Let's see. Think I know where we are? Not 100% sure, but I think downtown is just not that, not really that far that direction. But I could very well be wrong. There's lots of, there's a few different places in West Point that look the same. Small towns, man. Well, apparently that, uh, that noise carries over. That's interesting. Be interesting to see what sound effects carry over and which ones don't. I guess maybe that is kind of more of a more of a vibration sound than a than a just a normal sound, so you could maybe feel it in your bones. Really, dude? There you go. Geology. Teaches recipe shift dirt, dig mine, mine. You have not read this. Tree field guide. Right, I'm going to take the geology textbook because it's teaching us something. Hmm, great popsicle. Don't mind if I do. Rounds. I should probably take the rounds. Ladle. Jar of kimchi. I'll take it. Cooking apron. Is this full? This is full. Alright. Jar of kimchi goes in there. Our, the one round we've got can go in there. Bag of tortilla chips. Mmm, good eats. Alright, so let's check this house out. Seems to be pretty safe so far. Oh, hello. Yeah, you guys can stay in there. Ah! Holy crap. That was a lot of zombies in that room. <laughs> there was like six zombies in that room. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a lot harder without sound. Oh, 
Now you stay down. Yeah, I have like no guides to even know when I've killed them. I mean, there's the little spray of blood stuff like that, and then he starts swinging at the air, but... That's not how I usually play. I rely on sound a lot when I'm playing. Alright. Alright, stomp him down. Okay, well, I got a key for something. Probably this house, because it seems to be how this goes most of the time. Bunch of underwear. You know what? I'm going to take care of these two guys, because why not? Alright. Where did you come from? Did you come out of that room in a weird way? Like, was that just a glitchy bit there, or did, or was, did you use from somewhere else? I guess he came out of here and just, just sort of a weird uh, pathing issue. Fall down, please. Thank you. Nothing in there. Nothing in the zombie. Can't spare the weight. I was going to take those sheet, the curtains off so I can use them wherever we, as we sleep tonight, but can't really spare the weight. Let's try and clear around this house, and we'll make this our house for the evening because it's already three o'clock. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Please fall. I need one of you to fall down. Doesn't have to be both of you. There you go. Alright, come on. Please let me know, by the way. I think I said this before, but I'm just reiterating it. Please let me know if you don't like this sound situation. Um, because if I, I can ditch this, this playthrough and start a different one that doesn't include deafness, but I need to know what you guys think. I was just adhering, I was adhering to my rules. I have rules. Alright, there's one, two, three, four at least there. Nickel. Are you a harbinger or are you alone? Apparently alone. Really kind of thought that guy would be a harbinger of more guys in the trees. Alright, anything? Nothing. Alright, let's take care of these two. Boom. There we go. Alright, now a little stomp and push. Stomp and push. Alright, got one of them. Alright, got, got two of them. Nickel and a dime. We're up to 15 cents. Alright, my frame rate is taking a hit here. God, I hate the summer. I've been recording a lot. As you've probably seen, there are extra videos on my channel lately. And if I record too much in a row, in like a, in a sitting, my computer freaks out and does this weird uh, situation with the frame rate. So I'm going to stop for right now. Um, I'll be right back as far as you're concerned with the fix. But I will see you guys later. Thanks so much. Or actually, what am I saying? I'm not going to see you later. I'll see you in half a second. Be right back. All right. Got my frame rate situation all taken care of, and there are chairs outside the house. All right. Let's get this guy out. So what happens, um, I've, just, I've managed to figure out after many, many moons of trying to, of trying to diagnose the issue, is, is that if, if I record too much in a row, my computer kind of overheats in a way, probably in a very literal way. Um, and then, oh, there's two, there's more of you. Ah, there's too many of you, too many of you, too many of you. There's way more of them than I thought. All right, get away from me. Come on. 
Need enough of you away from me to get out the back door. Whoa. Yeah, my computer kind of overheats. Um, and then I have to uh, restart my computer. Or not really restart it, but actually let it sit for a little while. Um, turn it off and let it sit while it cools down. I'm in the process right now of trying to uh, price out and relearn the things I need to know for... Um, all right, come on, guys. For uh, building a new computer. Sorry, this is taking a little bit of my focus here. But I'm a very I'm very slow with that stuff. I don't spend money quickly or easily, or easily. So it's going to take me a little while to get to the point where I actually have a new computer built. All right, so four is a little tricky. I gotta say. Especially without sound. Come on. All right. What looks like? I think we killed one. All right. Come on. Get away from me. Get away from me. All right. I was not expecting four zombies in that house. It's making this whole process a little bit more complicated than it was supposed to be. I thought when we got the ex exterior zombies all taken care of, it would be we'd be in the clear. But nope. All right, I think we just killed her. I think she died. Okay, two we can work with. Two's not so bad. Come on. Come on, die, please. Thank you. All right, there we go. And down. All right, there we go. Oh, that was uh, that was a little more exciting than I wanted it to be. But yeah, so I'm in the process of of looking into into uh, things to make a to build a new computer. Grape soda, huh? But it will probably be a little while before that actually gets taken care of. I'm gonna eat half of this. I'm going to close some curtains. In the meantime, I have to deal with this problem. It's not usually that big of an issue, but it's been particularly hot the last few days. Um, and we haven't been running the AC because it hasn't been quite hot enough for that. Um, which means that that we uh, that the computer obviously has a better chance of overheating because it's already hotter by just by being in the space. Right, keep that door closed. Anything else in here? No. Captain's hat. I wish I could put that on. I don't think they haven't added a slot, have they? For a hat. No, I don't think so. Okay. Alright. Anything here? Farming for beginners. World Atlas. It's a bunch of stuff. Gummy worms. Oh, lighter. I'll absolutely take the lighter. Because I always like to have lighters on me. Because you never know when you might need to start a fire. There's no second level of this house, right? No. That would be an unpleasant surprise to suddenly discover there was a second floor. All right, let's put our um, perishables away. Onion. Steak. That's everything. Alright, now to put some of the just random... Oh, this needs to go in there. Random junk away. Whiskey bottles. Actually end up putting most of this away, I think. Oh, frying pan I'll keep out. I actually should probably switch to the frying pan. I like it a little bit better as a weapon than the, uh, than the hammer. <clears throat> Plus the hammer is kind of important. For, you know, hammering duties. So we'll take care of this. We got a pineapple in here. Put this in here, this in here, this in here. Put this back in here. There we go. You know, one of the things that really sucks about this whole bit is that I can't hear 
And if a zombie's banging on the wall, or the door, or the window, which is lovely. So let's see with this, uh, put these pots of water in one of these cabinets. I'm curious about this geology book we got. I wonder if you, how long it takes to read this. Oh, not very long. Okay. Have to read it again. Is it like a series? Do you have just have a chance of learning something? I want to also look at the, the crafting window here. So we've got uh, general stuff. Box of pencils, box of rubber bands. Christmas tree. I'm going to make a Christmas tree. <laughs> Drilled plank. Hang clothes. So I feel like, I'm not sure, as as far as I'm aware, a lot of this stuff is just, is literally just, um, uh, window dressing. It's not really useful. It's just if you want to do stuff. Unpack diapers. See, like, what? I don't understand what the point of it, a lot of these are. Build archery target. See that? I under I get that one. There's some stuff I understand, but a lot of it just seems to be kind of clean diaper. Like, why do you need these? I mean, they didn't add uh, bodily functions, did they? Nope. All right. All right. Well, I'll read up more on Hydrocraft before we uh, before we record again next time. But I'm gonna stop here for today. Hope you're enjoying it. If you are, oh, I need to change my right to the frying pan here. If you are, consider leaving me a like. Helps me out a great deal. And I will see you guys back here later for some more Project Zomboid. Thanks so much.